I know what you guys want to see is a series of PvP and cinematic epic fight montages with climatic storyboard endings and recurring themes and plot points, but you know what's even better? Okay, discussions about ethics and moral philosophy. So that's what we're doing today. Welcome to The Trolley Problem, a survey about moral philosophy and ethical dilemmas. Topics may include death and lots of it, so please answer honestly and take your time. Also, if you're playing this multiple people, do not leave this room until all players have joined the server. Well, guess what? I have absolutely zero friends in my name, so I'm now leaving this room. Okay, oh. That is insanely awkward. The scenario will be presented here, at which point you are given two options. Please choose one to begin. A. Usually the option that involves letting the train continue unhindered. B, usually the option that involves inserting yourself into the scenario by changing something. Okay, so if you guys don't know what the trolley problem is, usually, am I recording? Okay, I'm recording. Usually what the trolley problem is, is um, either, you know, the, the train's coming and there is five people on the track. And if you let the train go, it will kill them. Or you can take action by pushing someone in the way or switching a lever and it kills one person instead of the five. And so it's a, it's a choice of... Um, you know, of, of moral philosophy, you know, it's, it's really stunted philosophers for many centuries. Um, until me. Okay, you see what I do? Is I take the person tied to the track, and I put them with the other five people, and then I let it continue on hinder. So I just cause the most death and pain imaginable. Okay, ethics don't apply to me. Harvard, where's the application? Oh yeah, like I was saying, five people in the way, or you can click it to kill one. I was killing myself. So the problem with diverting the train, you know, obviously, you know, killing five people or killing one person. I mean, for obvious reasons, you know, uh, one person dying is is not as bad as five people dying, right? Well, you might not actually, because that's what that's where the ethics come into play, because they they're dying in a natural. Let me take the back. They're dying in a. Um, they're really just dying by a train. There's no like justifiable ways to put this, but they are dying through actions that you cannot control. Okay, you are not controlling the train. The train is going to kill someone. The train cannot the train has come to whip and tail until there is none left. Okay, so it just needs to kill. That is just on its agenda. And you could let it kill five people, or I say let it, but it's gonna kill someone regardless. But by switching the lanes or pushing this guy in the way or you know, clicking the, the lever to switch the, the tracks, you are putting this man in death's way you are killing him indirectly essentially and these people you know you're not connected to them at all so it really just comes down to like um yeah philosophy here scenario the train is approaching track a it will continue down track a if left alone track a being this uh don't get involved in the train kills five people and divert the train to kill one person so it comes down to the individual i guess is what it comes down to you were given this option these people could all be convicted murderers in the state of arkansas just like me and they could just be a let allowed to to die by this 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 train of justice or they could be five just random innocent children on the streets of um, Brooklyn in 1996, just like me. Okay, so you don't know really like what, what the, the, the background of them. Same could be with this guy, you know? But the difference is, is that you are directly, I've already said this, but you're directly involved in this guy's death. We already get it, TK, no one cares. Just click the button, who are we killing? Now, it, now the thing is, it comes down to me, okay? That's what all these come down to. It's the type of person you are. Do, would, you, would you put yourself in the scenario where you are directly responsible for the deaths of one person? Even if it is to save another five people, is that trade-off worth it? That's where individual perspective comes into play. And me, personally, I just want to see death. Dead. They're gone. I have killed them. I just realized that they gave me a choice to kill five or one person. So in all reality, um, I'm responsible for everyone's death in this video. That's not really how the train problem is supposed to work, but you know what? Just death and carnage wherever I go. Scenario. The train is approaching track A. It would continue on A if left alone. Don't get involved in the train kills one doctor. Divert the train to kill one former criminal. Interesting. So there's the doctor, there's the criminal. And now this is another question of moral ethics here. You know, is the life of a doctor supposed to be more important or more valued than the life of a former criminal? Now it says former, so that puts a spin on it. So they they, they broke the law, okay? They, they bended society in, in not a good way. And now they have returned for better or worse is still to be determined, but a doctor, you know, he saves lives, okay? He is a point in society. He plays a very valued role and actually saves more lives. So I guess what they're trying to get at is, I could allow him to be killed, but you know, that could also cause the deaths of more people down the line. You know, if, if someone like 
steps on a rusty nail three years from now and gets a tetanus infection, he will not be there to save them. However, this man right here, gentleman A, we'll just call him Jim for now, you know, he has been wanted in just country after country for just war crimes not known to this planet, okay? He has done some heinous things on this planet, but you know what? you would be cause for his death. Now, is his death necessary? Not at all, but you would determine that his life is not better than one another's just because of their decisions in life. And I guess that is what values a human's life. I mean, it does not. I mean, is that all you, all you can value someone by is not just like, you know, their economic status, but the, the decisions they've made in life. And this man has chosen to bring good to other people while this man has chosen to be selfish. And that is why, you know, it's quite obvious we just must kill the doctor. To cause as much death as possible. Hear me out, okay? I had to kill the doctor because that way, when that one dude with tetanus just doesn't get treatment, I'm actually responsible for two deaths. And we're just trying to keep a counter on how many people I can massacre today. Don't worry, YouTube. This is their literally villager NPCs. The train is approaching. Okay, hey, yeah, we get it. A, don't get involved in the train kills a person holding a hot dog. Divert the train kill a person holding a sandwich. Noticeably not a hot dog since they are separate things. I mean, this is just... Oh, wait a minute. I just got a PTSD attack from that one video I made on is a hot dog a sandwich. Very insane Bed Wars commentary video. Do check it out. Now, let me think about this. What did I decide it was? I decided a hot dog was was not a sandwich because it was connected on two ends. So it would be more of a taco, I think. I don't know. I said some pretty political things in that video. I'm not trying to bring up the, the past, if you will. Okay, I got several political figures DMing me after that video. Um, I'd have to go with... Uh, whose life are we ending? Hot dogs or sandwiches? This is just, this is the toughest question I've come to realize thus far. You know, you just gave me options before of just killing people innocent, just massacring them with a, just a massive locomotive. Easy choice, easy decisions. But this, this is tough. I'm gonna have to kill the hot dog lover just because, just because, okay? Just hot dogs, they just have such a lower threshold than sandwiches, okay? Like, I'm gonna enjoy different types of sandwiches on different occasions. Hot dogs, however, they're just pretty finite in their possibilities now. Don't get involved in the trend kills one person who can see it coming. Two people cannot see it coming. Oh, wow, leans back in chair. This is very interesting. This brings in a new side to things, okay? Someone who could see death coming. So they can't make any mental preparations. And I know one might say, if you even can make mental preparations in this in this this stand, in this this position you're in, we're about to face the end of everything you've ever known. Can you even prepare for something like that? Even if you're given a minute, what can you what can you think about? You know? Like if you're given the choice between knowing you could live your entire life knowing you will never die, or living your life knowing you could die any second. I'm sure a lot of people would go with the former, but just think about the, the decisions you would make in life with the latter. You know, your, your decisions would be mu that much more potent, for lack of better terms, just because you know it could all be taken away in just a moment with no context whatsoever. You know, you might as well just reach for the stars in a sense, where there, there's a safeguard, so you know, like it doesn't really matter what you do, nothing will ever affect you in a grand sense of things if you never die. So this really, I think we got a bit off track here. Haha, <laughs> get it, get it. <gasps> I think this question would have been better if there were two people and one person could seen it coming because this person's given all the advantages here, okay? It's one less life and he has a big head. And he has the time to, to just says his, say his prayers, you know, um, to delete his search history, you know, because these people aren't given that, uh, that, that lovely, lovely, uh, privilege. So what needs to happen is I believe I should kill this person right here. I'm going A a lot. Okay, they're really dead. Um, two trains 80 chunks apart are traveling at a constant speed of 40 blocks per minute and 60 blocks a minute respectively. Don't get involved in trains with collide next minute solver X divert the train to fail math class. No. Are you kidding me? Not again. Okay, so here we are with this just lovely information, right? We just have lovely paint open. I don't really know why I did that, but I did. So if you have two trains coming at each other, now let's get a good shape for a train real quick. I'm just gonna do this. Uh, train one here, and here's train two. It's just slightly bigger, you know, it's just the alpha train as far as trains go. 
Now Minecraft says here, they're 80 chunks apart, okay? So we're just gonna do it, just, 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 just set this problem right. That's just way too big of a font. 80 chunks. So 40 blocks per minute. 60 blocks uh, per minute. And now I don't know this for a fact, but I'm just gonna assume because I just like to assume that I'm the greatest. Um, one chunk equals 16 blocks because it's 16 by 16 and it's just going in a straight line so you don't need the other dimension so it's 16 blocks so in a sense this is going I'm trying to figure out how much time will pass until they collide we'll just do this by blocks since i don't really want to deal with decimals right now and so 16 times 80 is in fact 1280 i think double checking and i am completely correct like always okay so this is that um, so, I mean, this is just a very easy relative motion question, really, where um, I believe you do this by dividing, uh, like, distance over speed. So, 1280 divided by, well, it'd be like the distance of both of them put together. That's the relative velocity. So, in total, like, over a minute, both of them had traveled 100 blocks. You know, 60 plus 40, when he goes 40, when he goes 60, after a minute, they're both going 100 blocks. And if they're trying to reach um, 1280, it would take them 1280 divided by 100, which is 12.8. Uh, so that's how long it would take them to collide. I just feel internally depressed. We're reverting to physics, even if it's simple physics. Why did I do this? Why did I take the time to find this necessary? Anyways, we're back here and I feel completely useless because it's not like they're even gonna acknowledge the fact that I just got this right. It's 12.8. It is 12.0. It doesn't even matter because it's just gonna ignore me. The train is approaching track A. It'll continue down track A if left alone. What is that scary noise? Don't get involved, nothing will happen. Divert the train, it'll kill one person and grant you $1 billion. They act like I can be just coerced by financial gains how could they just just assume that just one life is worth a billion dollars you can't put a finance you can't put price on someone's life like that this is a sick question while approaching track a the engineers systematically swipe out every individual part of the train until the entirety has been replaced it's still technically the same train it's now entirely a new train okay so while all while moving they systematically swap out each individual part it's still the same train or a new train um, it would by definition be a different train would it not because it's it's like it, Well, I guess someone would relate it to the fact like a living creature, you know shedding skin Well, that's not even a, uh, no because the shedding skin an example would be the same creature But it's not like it replaced its organs. Okay, it would, it would have different skin by definition So it is an entirely new train the train is approaching track a stop making those creepy noises. Thank you I will continue down track a if left alone. I'm reading the same thing and over and over again don't get involved and the train definitely kills one person. Bart the train and it goes off the rails leading to an unknown result. So are you saying, um, I'm like insanely curious about what that could be. So I would probably definitely take this even though the temptation of just taking an innocent life is very tempting. I will have to go with this. Does it tell us? No. You're peeing. You're peeing right now. How did they know? Oh my god, they knew. Don't get involved and you'll take full responsibility for your actions. Divert the train. Divert the blame and say the train did it. What? I just feel very uncomfortable with this question, so we're moving on. Where am I? I'm in a box. This is not fair. What is this texture? Um, the train is approaching track A. It'll continue down track A if left alone. Don't get involved and the train kills 20 people. Divert the train and it'll kill you. Interesting. Okay. So this is the part of the moral ethics where it puts your own life into perspective. Okay, so it puts your own life on the chopping, chopping block. You know, is your life worth 20 people? I mean, I just don't see how anyone could just choose you, you know, like... It comes a point where even the most self-absorbed have to realize 20 whole people have a higher chance of doing something great than just you, you know? You need to just be the one to take the... The train is approaching track A. We'll continue down track A if left alone. Don't get involved and the train will crash into, in five minutes, killing everyone on board. Therefore, the train will crash and now we're killing everyone on board. So what I'm saying here is everybody's dead. That's an, just, just an impossibly avoidable outcome. Okay, you cannot avoid people dying. So they honestly just process by elimination, just get rid of killing everyone. So it's the only thing you can change is an hour or five minutes till death. And if you're given that, which one would you choose? I mean, it's not like you can do a lot in an hour, much less five minutes, but still, wouldn't you, wouldn't you like an hour to think things through? Or would you like five minutes? I mean, eh, 
I think most people would choose an hour just out of a just a pure survival standpoint of just having more time, I guess, um, even though you still aren't given enough to do anything substantially with and some people might even choose five minutes just to get it over quicker. I think I'm going to go with an hour just to allow people to have that time. You know, if they, if they don't want to be there, you just can take a nap and it'll be over. Um, don't get involved in the train kills two people, divert the train to kill five people, but it's a sick backflip first. I'm sorry, but sometimes lives just are completely pushed to the side when it does stuff like that. A shopping trolley is approaching track A. It will continue down track A if left alone. Don't get involved in the trolley, you'll bump into five people, divert the trolley and will bump into one person. So it's like the same question, but it's a lot lower stakes, okay? Also, I have an idea. Okay, so the pros to this is now we can witness people being killed and massacred and just glorious HD rendered. Uh, shaders, but now you can hear my computer in the background just went Super Saiyan. So either this completely ruins the recording audio, or we just can continue to watch a shopping crowley bump into just a couple people. Um, is this worth it? I really don't feel like, so we're just going to keep this on for a couple things just to make it look cool and awesome. That dude's really, I, I know this guy's appreciating my hard work of getting a shaders pack for this specific video and not deciding to restart the video and just, just have a shaders pack this entire time and just not use it till halfway through so I don't even get to see the benefits so it's not even worth it. I mean, this just takes away the death aspect. The, my computer is just getting really annoying. And I feel better because my computer no longer has to scream to tell me it's dying, okay? You are gonna be suffering silently for the rest of your life, computer, which will probably be like two months. Um, a shopping trolley is, okay, is still this question. I've taken so much time not to answer this. I just wanna see it bump a lot of person, people. Because if it can bump five people, like the shopping trolley isn't hit big enough to hit all five in the once. It has to hit one person and then like slowly collide into all the other people and that'd be kind of sick to see. Um, train kills one person, divert the train in time, portal to kill eight, and, uh, baby, okay, I see what it's trying to get out here, that's not possible, I, it, it, I feel like they've lost, tr like, track <laughs> of the original premise of this whole idea, and they're kind of just go going off the rails <laughs> with their train of thought, <laughs> and I just personally think it's, it's, it's a bit much at the point, but I, I'm still gonna do, um, people a favor and don't get involved in the, uh, in the train injures the person you hate, divert the train no one will injure. So it's just injured here. Yes, he's at the side. So it's just someone being injured. Okay, which isn't death. So there's not a, not as big of a moral objection to this. Why can I just jump off? Okay, I just thought there'd be barrier blocks. And for some reason I like to test these things. Can I go down there? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What have I found? I'm in something I shouldn't be. Why are there barrier blocks here, but not at the edge of the world? So if I had to choose to injure someone I hate, which I honestly, I don't really hate that many people. I don't really hate anyone. Like, hate's such a strong word, you know? Usually if someone like is, is just downright not an agreeable person, there's usually a reason for that. And I can usually pinpoint that and just, just feel bad for them at the end. Because you know, I just, I just would hate to be them. Is there no other way to get into any secret holes? No, it's just that one. Um, so probably B, just because there's no repercussions for my actions. This is a lot of text. The train is approaching track A. It will continue down track A no matter what, unless if there only existed a product that could switch train tracks remotely, but surely that's impossible, or so you may be thinking. Don't get involved in the train kills five people. Invest tw invest $200,000 in my startup train remote for a 10% stake in this revolutionary no company change tracks and change the world. This is such a stretch out of joke, it's unbelievable. Um, I'm gonna go with... I just punched my mic. I'm gonna go with this one just so um, we, I'm trying to like force the map to stay on track here <gasps> because this is just really getting hilarious. What are the options here? I just, this is just, okay. The train is approaching two portals, both will both with devastating consequences on the other side. Choose portal A to instantly kill every person who is currently outdoors. Choose portal B to kill every person who's currently indoors. Okay, so what this is going up is what this one's kill everyone outdoors this is kill everyone indoors so what you're saying is kill everyone in the southern hemisphere and kill everyone in the northern hemisphere um interesting i mean i'm just gonna loosely throw the entire world into those just general geographical areas because usually the southern hemisphere is a lot warmer i mean i'm saying usually just so so loosely here it's like so un this is like the worst way to go about this but i just feel like 
I just feel like nitpicking just comments right now, okay? So this is the route I'm going, even if it doesn't really apply. Usually people, usually they're warmer, you know, you got the Amazon, you got the Sahara, which is really on the equator, so it's not really that useful as the, the southern hemisphere. We're just gonna lump it in, you know, just casually. There's a lot of ocean, so there's not as much people. In the northern, you know, you got all the colder places like Siberia and Minnesota. Um, okay, I think I've made it clear just for the pure reason that Ohio exists in the northern hemisphere. We're gonna kill everyone indoors. Wait, that includes me. And I'm dead. Okay, that was, I just didn't think that part through. The train is approaching track A. I know where this goes. Don't get involved in the train kills one person. Divert the train to kill five self-aware free-thinking robots. So I guess this brings in the, the topic of AI. And if you get AI that is so advanced that it is self-aware and free-thinking, I don't know why I can't say that word. If you get robots who are self-aware and free thinking, are they considered alive? And to do that, we have to define alive. And alive is just simply the state of not dead, I guess, in a sense, you know? Because for something to be alive, there also has to be a state of death. And and death just really means not alive either. So it's kind of like a, uh, not, a not even a contrast because you can just base it down to thoughts of just instinctual self-aware movement you know that's why plants are alive you know they they react they have instincts they have stimulus and they react accordingly for their own survival you know they reproduce as all living things do so i guess that's another um requirement for something to be alive i don't know this is i feel like this is a very large topic that i'd have to tackle at like 5 a.m for a different video so we're just not going to even approach that and we're just going to assume that i mean even though they're robots they were made by us and i don't know if they even uh, we're just we're not going to even answer that are they technically you know deserving of just uh, human human rights if there are are they even human that's the whole thing we're just not going to answer that there's probably a movie that answers that out somewhere so we're gonna kill if we kill those we get a lot of iron so i'm gonna do that and then we could speed run this world faster Jesus Christ, this looks like a lot of fun. The train has killed infinite people and will continue down track A, killing infinitely more people. Stop the train. Do nothing. After all, infinity plus infinity is still infinity, so you wouldn't actually be changing the number of people who end up dead. That is completely false. Infinity is not a number. It is a concept of endless numerical amounts. So I don't really see... I feel like they're trying to trick us with just textbook definitions here, and we're not really getting it, since in fact there would be a lot more people who would not die. Infinity plus infinity is still infinity, but that does not mean infinity minus infinity is still infinity. I just realized that infinity minus infinity is actually just an undefined just problem that I don't really feel like dealing with right now. So we're going to throw that out the window awkwardly. And we're still going to go with this because saving an infinite amount of people is still an amount of people just because it wouldn't have impact on the train or we could look this in a different lens we could see this train as just solving world hunger in a really unethical and morally questionable way but therefore if, if we keep these infinite amount of people alive how are we going to feed them we live in a finite world and this is a f infinite problem we have to face and the only thing we have to save this is a train that just happens to be killing all these infinite people so we're just gonna let them do his thing because wherever the infinite people came from i don't really know where but you know it's just a them problem what is this um the train is approaching track a it continues to let alone the train kills five people the train kills five people i mean so if we leave it alone it goes down track a so therefore track a would be the morally right one since we're just not included at all and we're choosing, we're basically choosing these five people to die over that five. And like in this sense, we are physically pulling the lever that would kill them. I don't know why I said lever, like a British accent lever, I don't even know. So in this sense, we are going to be killing the five people on track A. It will continue on track A unless you notice the typo in the previous scenario, be honest. Okay, in this situation, I'm going to self-diagnose with dyslexia and therefore be saved from all blame of not noticing the typo. So, you know what, I'm given just the, the, the pity vote here. I'm gonna go there. The train is approaching track A, it'll continue. Okay, don't get involved, nothing will happen. Divert the train, kill one person with the guarantee of no negative repercussions. So, I get to choose what happens to this man. I get to choose all the possible things that happen to this, like, like no negative repercussions. So just one man dies. Is that not a negative repercussion of itself? Isn't his absence from his former life a repercussion? Or are we just not gonna acknowledge that? I just feel like this is just not a good question for 1A. Don't get involved in the train kills one cat and one dog. Divert the train to kill one person. 
So I guess this puts an animal's life in, in, in question with a human. It's like a human, I guess, well, obviously has, has a much higher potential for impact on this world, albeit that the impact can be negative just as much as it could be positive. Sure, this man could, you know, be Albert Einstein, you know, and discover formulas for energy, although Albert Einstein was also the one who invented, in a sense, the Manhattan Project and nuclear warfare. So should we really thank him that much? I don't know. You see, I mean, I think they have a larger thing for death. And something we have to take and consider is this is, in fact, a good boy. And that, in fact, is just not a good boy. So in this sense, we're going to be taking a dog any time, any day over a man. I'm just not even acknowledging the cat. The cat is also awesome. Not as, I'm, I'm always a dog person over a cat, but I'm still acknowledging the cat in, in a slight amount of time. Dog just gets the win. Person is approaching track A. They left. They will continue down track A if left alone. Don't get involved. And the person runs into five trains. Divert the person to run into one train. <sighs> this is just the ultimate question now. Five trains, you say. We get to save the life of five trains. See, these tra now, I'm just assuming this man is an unstoppable for this. This man will slaughter everything in its path. It has the power and passion of this unstoppable locomotive in his very soul, okay? I don't, I don't think we're seeing anything to stop this man. So I feel like we just have to make the moral action of deciding whether our involvement to stop him from just causing as much damage to just, you know, uh, property as destroying five trains is so i think we just have to go with the one just so our just business doesn't completely take a massive hit from this just property damage um one train please a train is approaching track a okay don't get involved and the train kills 10 people divert the train to kill only one of those 10 people but you take the blame for their death okay so i guess this is what it's saying here is you know 10 people are massacred and they just you know 10 people die by train but you get to only kill one person but it's saying you killed that one person so I guess the sacrifice in this scenario is one person instead of nine. You get to save nine lives, but your reputation is sacrificed. So, and probably your livelihood as well, because you are probably going to jail for uh, homicide or manslaughter. I don't know if it's if it's premeditated. It's just saying you are take blame for their death. I don't know if it's like you just decided not to do anything about it and you take blame that way, and that would be reputation sacrifice. Or if you take blame as if you were just decided to be fully responsible for it, and I now have vehicle manslaughter charges and I have court in three days, based on a true story. But in this scenario, I think we are probably going to... So what it's saying is, is just saying, is nine people worth... Um, because either way, one person's dying, or at least one person, I should say. So nine people are saved, or, and here your reputation is saved there with this one. So is nine people worth your reputation? That's the balance we have to scale here. And obviously, for a mere mortal, I would put you know nine people any day over anyone's reputation. But me, I am a god of just cynical mass destruction and also tumbleweeds. So in this sense, we are gonna be slaughtering 10 people for my everlasting glory. Don't get involved in the track runs into five question cards, divert the train to run into one question card. What on earth? I just, what, what? Explain this, what is, wait a minute. I feel like there's some missing, where did the train go then? Um, I'm sensing some off patterns here. Um, so I guess question card versus question card. Um, I guess we'll just we'll just divert the train. Don't get involved in the train kills the person with the cure for cancer. Divert the train to kill the person you love most in life. Um, cure for cancer or love most in life. Now this is a tough question, so I will be taking the last sip of my water. So this is just putting all the, the, the possible brain power possible from this, this one glass of water into my head. That was a good sip of water. Worthy of being the last, I'd say. Now, if I'm still playing this completely, completely made up, um, self-absorbed character and say that the person I love the most is myself, and I would say, oh, is it, you know, person cure for cancer or myself, and then I go for myself, and it's just a funny joke, and we all move on. Um, I'm going to take this one a bit more seriously, and we're just, we're just going to assume I just have a major love interest in this this scenario here, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to replace this with the person I love the most. Boom, there it is, okay. So now we have to take this and we have to think about it, okay. So the cure for cancer or the person I love the most. See this right here, I wanna spend the rest of my life with this, cuddling all day. But the thing we have to throw back here is a cure for cancer. You know, cancer kills so many people every year. It's a horrible, horrible disease. And this person has, has, a, has a chance of stopping it. 
But who knows if, if cancer is the end, you know, who it could, it could be a, a catch-22 where, you know, sure, we get the, sure, you get the cure for cancer, but the cure for cancer could be something that is, gives you equally horrible onset problems. You know, a cure is only a temporal thing in this scenario. We need a permanent cure. So I'm just assuming that's all there and I'm just trying to make it, I'm just really fighting for not to take the cure for cancer. But you know what? Some things have to be just sacrificed in vain. I'm sorry, okay? I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> Goodbye. You are approaching train A. You will continue down train A if left alone. Don't get involved and you will kill one track. Divert yourself to kill the number five. What the hell happened to this map? Um, kill a track. First of all, that insinuates that the track is alive. If it can be killed, it must be alive. So now we're assuming that this two pieces of metal and three pieces of wood lining is a sentient reproducing, um, Thing that has just is alive and sentient by definition since it says it's alive since it can't be killed however they also says kill the number five so this this number five is also alive and sentient and so now we have to decide if a train track who is alive and has sentience versus the number five who is sentient and I mean at face value the number five is a value and the train track is a tool for locomotion you know it's a it's a it's a vital piece of equipment and transportation, whether people are goods or the value five. And I feel like if you took either out of, out of just the world, um, taking an entire number out of the just the system of numerical values we, we use today, number five would have just so much larger social repercussions, not just social, economic, political, religious. Like it, I think the entire world would dissolve if, if I killed the number five. Whereas the train tracks, like we're just not even using trains anyway. Okay, we got boats, ships, just just cars. You know, we don't need train tracks. So I'm definitely killing the train tracks. You are immortal. This is known. The train of death. The only thing in this entire world that can kill immortal beings is approaching. Uh, just is approaching track A. It will continue on track A if left alone. Don't get involved, and the train will kill you. Divert the train, and you will never ever die. So this is another problem I get. I think I answered this question before. This is a sick train. But we have to think, of, I think we were just talking about this in a different one. Um, you know, would, would given the choice between dying now or dying later, what would you take? Um, and I think I took the, the one where I would die, but I would I'd never know when I die versus never dying. But that's just kind of a cop-out answer, whether faced, but that, that, that's dying randomly versus dying instantaneously. Okay, and it says I am immortal. So I have seen everything since the dawn of the universe. I am like 5.6 billion years old or however old I am and this thing is coming to kill me and I get to choose to die now or keep living and I feel like if I'm 5.6 billion years old and I'm now making Minecraft videos then I feel like I have fallen off on a galactic scale so I think it's just time for me to kick the old uh, co cosmic bucket here. Nice. Okay. Train is approaching track A. We'll continue down track A. Don't get involved. It kills five people. Life for train kills one person. Split the train in half, sending the one half down each track, killing every person present. Finally, the choice I've been looking for. And that's my score. Awesome. Okay. Um, this was an insanely just thought-provoking video, I would say. Um, I definitely feel changed personally on a personal level i think more than that too i feel like on an academic and spiritual level i've just been enlightened in ways i had not known previously were possible i feel like now i can look at society and just life in general in a different lens i feel like i can now have just the ability to change things on a much larger scale than i once previously was and honestly i feel like i could enough talk time for massive explosion